All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do two videos here on unemployment. The first one's going to focus more on the calculations about how people at the Bureau of Labor Statistics, I believe, uh, come up with the unemployment rate that you hear about on the news all the time. And the second video is going to talk about the different types of unemployment. There are generally four categories that they care about come AP test time, and I'll help you out with those. This will also be helpful because some people, a lot of people, maybe a half dozen or so, uh, we're on a field trip last week, so you'll get caught up this way. So we're going to start with a box. I've got a box behind me. And hopefully this uh, illustration will help you kind of conceptualize uh, how we look at the unemployment rate and people's employment status uh, for the whole country, just with a simplified example. So I've got an adult population here of 100 folks. So folks, you know, let's say over 18, um, people that aren't like my daughter who are... Uh, one and a half. Um, generally, adults here. Uh, and I got a hundred of them. They're represented by this big box here. Now, when we're talking about unemployment, we have to talk about some different types of people. Uh, the first that might come to mind might be the people that are unemployed, hence the unemployment rate. We're going to ignore them for a second. Uh, the other side of the coin would be if you aren't unemployed, you would be employed. Okay, so let's see here. Let's take, uh, let's take 70 people. Uh, and so I'll cut my box like so. And up here, we're going to call these people employed. And there's going to be 70 of them. Okay? Which means we got 30 people left. Uh, so we talked about we got to have some unemployed folks. So let's say that there are uh, what do you want to say? 10. 10 unemployed folks out of 100. Some of you may be inclined to say, oh, Mr. Sutton, the unemployment rate's got to be 10%. Wrong, hold on, slow down. Uh, because we got to talk about these people down here. Who the heck are these people? These people that don't have a job, uh, or that, let me say that again, ignore that comment, that are not unemployed, but they're also not employed, huh? huh? Seems like you have to be one or the other. Ah, but wrong. What has to be true for you to be considered unemployed? Anybody? If you were in class the other day, you better remember. Uh, if you are going to be unemployed, you have to actively want a job. You have to desire a job. I think uh, when they actually do it, it's like um, you actively looked in the last four weeks or something like that. Uh, so you notice one thing that is shared between these people is either they have a job or they want a job. But people down here may not want work. Now, does that mean that they're lazy piles of crap? No, no, may, it could be, could be true, but they don't have to be. Uh, think about for a second if you could think of some people that don't really want a job, that are perfectly fine human beings. Stay-at-home mom and dad. Perfectly fine people, not unemployed because they don't want a job. They're happy, they're content doing what they're doing. Uh, elderly people who are retired have worked a whole lot in their lives but they've gotten to the point where they're retired. They're saying, hey, I don't want to work anymore, and I'm going to live on the investments that I've made during my working life. So that would be people that are down here, and they are what we call not in the labor force. I'm not going to write out moms and stay-at-home moms and dads and retired people. If you want to, go right ahead. But not in the labor force. Okay? So there are two things that you have to do here. Uh, two ways to think about this. If you are unemployed, let me switch it up. Uh, so if you're not in the labor force, okay, that means that these two groups must be in labor force. And so when we figure out unemployment, we only worry about the people that are in the labor force, people that want a job, which should be a big hint to you if you're going to calculate the unemployment here. Anybody want to take a stab? It's not 10%, remember. It's not 10 out of 100. You're only looking at the labor force. The labor force is how big? Anybody? Anybody? Joey. Hey. Good. 70 plus 10. Now, if we want to know the unemployment rate, well, let's take the number of unemployed, which is what, uh, 10, divide it by the number in the labor force equals... Uh, 80? 
And if my math is right, 1 over 8 turns out to 1 point, no, 12.5%, 0.125 times 100, 12.5%, kind of high. Uh, but that's what it is for our uh, problem here. Now, there's another calculation that you could do here. Uh, what if we wanted to know the percentage of people that are actively participating in the labor force, that are uh, seeking a job? Well, that might be something that we're interested in, too. Uh, in which case, we, if we want to find, this is called our labor force participation rate. Well, we want to look at all the people now. So our big group now is our adult population, which is over 100. But we want to know how many people are participating in the labor force. How many people are in the labor force according to the big chart back here? Those are your employed and unemployed people. 80 people, 80 over 100, gets you 0.8. You want to turn that into a percentage, multiply by 100, 80%. All right. I'm going to do one other quick one here. It's going to be the same chart, but I'm going to switch it just really quick, all right? 